everybody, Hungry Hussy here, and today I want to do a zucchini squash gratin inside uh, in the oven, not on the Blackstone, but uh, I could do it at Blackstone, an air fryer unit, but I'm going to do it in here. Um, I've been doing this for a while. It is a, it is a crowd pleaser, I'm going to tell you. It's low carb, keto friendly. It's amazing, just saying. Just saying, if you make it for your side dish to a potluck, you're gonna be an all-star, I promise you. So, it's pretty easy, pretty easy recipe. You just need some squash. I've got tons of squash these days. The garden's producing. Um, I actually didn't have uh, both of these. So I actually went to the farmer's market yesterday, picked these up. So a squash, zucchini, we're gonna slice those. We've got a yellow onion. For the sauce, the sauce is the boss. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's got whipping cream, some Parmesan cheese, some butter, garlic powder, onion powder, and that's about it. So I'm gonna get to slicing these vegetables, getting them going, and then we're gonna get to the sauce, all right? All right, let's get to chopping. All right, so zucchini, let's get the slicing. So I just want just thin slices. Whoop, come back here. Whoop, one down. So you just want them you know, kind of circular, kind of like that. Nothing crazy, all right? Squash, same thing. All righty. So there's our squash and our zucchini. Now, get this yellow onion. Get this yellow onion. Uh-oh, got some visitors. I didn't even hear y'all pull in. There she is. Hey, sweetie. You gonna eat this zucchini gratin? Yeah. Yeah, you don't know what you're missing. All right, we're gonna slice up this yellow onion. I like to slice these. A little cracker, a little cracker break. All right, we're gonna dice these, dice these up, okay? Just like that, and that's plenty, okay? Put that over here. Now, we need to take, we're gonna take our little, nice little pan here. Take our pan, a little bit of spray. make sure it's all nice and loose. I've also taken um, I've also taken bacon grease and rubbed on that. That's excellent. I've had to throw out my I threw out my bacon grease. I gotta get some more. So what do I do? I take one zucchini, I take one squash. Zucchini and then a squash. And I just kind of lay them like that and then they're just gonna lay into this pan. Okay? So I'm not really gonna talk, I'm just gonna do this, okay? So we got it like stacked like that. I'm just gonna kinda lay those in there, just like that. And then we're just gonna stack all around them. All right, there you have it. Now, I could probably, I could probably put uh, some more in there, kind of, uh, you know, clump them together a little bit more, but you know, I used every bit of my squash and zucchini right there, so. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And now I'm just gonna take our onions and put over them like that. You can omit the onions if you want, no big deal. Alrighty. Now, sauce. I got, I got like two tablespoons of butter right here, okay? I got about three quarters cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna do a dash of dash of onion powder, dash of garlic powder. That's probably about a quarter teaspoon each. And a little salt, a little pepper. Pepper. 
Put the salt over here. A little bit of salt. And then you want to put a little bit of salt over your vegetables right here too. Start sweating those out a little bit. They need to sweat, okay? Now, focus your attention. So, you're not going to see me in this. I'm sorry. Might be a good thing. But I'm just going to make, I'm just going to stir this together. I got some Parmesan cheese, okay? That I'm just going to put in there. And that's going to help tighten it up. Okay. I got my pan like on a medium, medium heat right now. Try to get this up and going, get it melted, okay? We're going to cut the oven on 375. Get that ready. Give this about 10 minutes here, okay? Got to allow it about 10 minutes to cook down, get melted. Y'all, I forgot the cream cheese. Half a stick, half a block of cream cheese goes into this. How did I do that? Oh. I was like, I was like, what the heck? How is this? This, this looks different. I've made this I don't know how many times. Half a stick of cream cheese. Just take, pinch it off. This will add a nice creaminess to it. On top of the, the not the half and half, but the heavy whipping cream that's in there. So in here, you got half a stick of cream cheese, half a block of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, uh, about three quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, dash of salt, dash of pepper, not quite a quarter teaspoon, okay? And you just want to put this in here and you want it to get nice and melty, okay? Your cream cheese is going to start melting and that's okay, that's what you want it to do. And it's going to form a nice sauce, beautiful sauce. The cream cheese, it'll start looking a little gritty. Just keep stirring it. See it here? It's coming together. That's what you want right there. We're gonna give us a few more minutes and we're gonna put it over our zucchini and squash. Well, that looks perfect right there. So it's kind of, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna pour that. We're gonna pour that over our zucchini and squash. It's gonna be amazing. All right, hey, there we go. Sorry about the little flub on the cream cheese. So now we're just gonna pour this over our zucchini and squash, all right? So that's gonna go in between every one of those layers gonna be awesome going to be awesome so I just kind of take this I used to lay them flat and then stack them and I kind of like this vertically um, orientation because it, it helps get the cheese sauce um, in between every one of those because they're like that and now what's gonna happen What's gonna happen is um, zucchini and squash has some moisture in it, all right? So, you know, it'll start releasing a little bit and it gets a little bit looser just as it kind of cooks down, but it's gonna be awesome. I'll guarantee it, all right? 375 for 45 minutes, all right? All righty, it's gratin. This gratin. Ooh, wee. Lord have mercy. Ooh, boy. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that. Shoo-wee. Good groceries right there, y'all. Dang, son. It's hot, I'll tell you that much. Well, y'all, hey, this gratin, it's done. And I'm ready to give it a try. Give me a little moat here. It is, I mean, nice and what's well, gonna burn. It's gonna burn the hide off my tongue, but it, it's gonna be worth it. I guarantee it. Mm. First thing is creaminess. And then, you know, squash, I like squash. Yellow squash better than zucchini, personally. But I like them both. Squash gives it a nice sweetness to it. Um, I get a little bit of the onions that I put in there. And then a little bit, a little, a little nuttiness from the Parmesan cheese too. But the cream. Mm. Oh man, that's dynamite right there. Remember, it is low carb, keto friendly. It's amazing. Serve it at your next meal, please. Well, y'all, this is zucchini gratin. It's done. We're getting ready to eat this up for dinner tonight. It's going to be awesome. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Appreciate all the support that we get. Um, just want to let y'all know, um, Doll Strong Knives, 10% off. Down below in the description, look for a link and then put it in your cart. Add Hungry Hussy at coupon. You get 10% off your Doll Strong Knife. Same knife I use here. A lot of people ask uh, what kind of knife. This is the Shogun Series 7-inch Santuco uh, type knife. It's one of my favorites. I also have a paring knife and a bread knife, like a slicing knife, but this is my go-to. Well, y'all, again, I appreciate you, love you, and until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye. Golly, this is good. Mm.